New video shows more of those car meetups all throughout Philadelphia. It's been a lingering problem for the city with hordes of people meeting in the middle of intersections with drivers doing burnouts and traffic lights. Action News reporter Brianna Smith joins us live from police headquarters. And Brianna, Mayor Kenny issued a statement about the ongoing chaos. Yes, he did, Walter, but residents in South Philadelphia want city leaders to take a different approach to stop these car meets because they say this already dangerous situation will only get worse. This is the sound South Philadelphia residents are tired of waking up to. I saw uh, cars doing donuts in the intersection and uh, hundreds of kids filming it on their phones and um, almost getting hit by these vehicles. This resident who wants to remain anonymous showed us video of the car meet on South Broad Street in Washington Avenue early Saturday morning. It's a lot at three in the morning when you're trying to rest after a long week. He's not just worried about his quality of life, but the people caught in the middle. In this video, it appears a van is trying to drive through the intersection, but it, along with other vehicles, are stopped on the main road. People trying to get home, maybe there, there were, there's a fire station near here, ambulance, maybe someone's dying and they can't get to the hospital because these kids are acting like fools. Philadelphia police say officers responded to the scene to disperse the crowd without any arrests. They also went to Frankfurt and Cotman Avenues in Mayfair where there was another car meet, leaving behind skid marks and nervous neighbors. If you don't punish the behavior, you just reinforce the behavior. I honestly believe that the, the more this is allowed to go on, the more violent it will get. People are going to die. The Philadelphia mayor's office said in a statement, quote, car meets are disruptive, reckless, and often dangerous, which is why the police department has assembled dedicated teams of officers to monitor and address these events. I just don't see it in my neighborhood. I don't see it. Yeah, this resident believes the current protocols are not enough. He wants city leaders to establish stricter punishments to hopefully put an end to these car meets. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. All right, thank you, Brianna.